A gentleman falls rather than flies. As you, as you catch sight of Nashu, you cannot help but wonder if you're about to have a bad time. Well, I'll be green slime in the flesh. Pleasure to see you again. Wait, is this what they call serendipity? It is, isn't it? That settles it. You've got to help me find the inspector. Cole, I was hoping you would silently agree. No, I just don't have a voice. So, I've been trying to calculate the trajectory the inspector took when he was catapulted into the sky again. I triple-checked my figures and concluded he must have landed somewhere in Ishgard. Unfortunately, the investigation hasn't been proceeding as smoothly as I had hoped. But now that you're here, we're, here, we're sure to make some progress. Come, let's speak with the merchant and see if anyone hasn't had dealings with a gentlemanly Highlander. I'm right here. Uh, Seva, welcome, warm welcome to you, sir. How may I be of service? Have you seen a silly looking Highlander around? That's not me. Hmm, a gentlemanly Highlander, you say? Now that I think of it, I've heard a tale of a foreigner who may be the man whom you seek. <sighs> begging, begging your pardons, miss. What did you say in your Inspector Hildebrand? An acquaintance of yours, I presume? I do not know his name, only that he's here by the invitation of Lord Edmund. Or so it is rumoured. Surely, a, as a ward of House Fort Tom, it would be a trifling matter to go and sh ask after him at the manor? Car, I knew it was serendipity! To Fort Tom Manor! Well met, Master Slime. Do you require assistance? Have you seen a strange looking inspector around? Aye, it is as you say. This time Lord Edmund is entertaining a foreign guest. Huzzah! We found the inspector! If I'm not mistaken, the meeting should be ending shortly. If you like, you may require to the gazebo and wait for our guests to depart. A gazebo? Aren't those dangerous? They are, according to Dungeons and Dragons. Then again, you seem a responsible soul, not like to let a wild gazebo run amok. Very well, we humbly accept your offer. The dreaded gazebo. And if it wakes up, I'll have you there to protect me. It, sure. I have some fire spells here somewhere. It's... it's a sodding gazebo. What with what powerful magic does they tame this dread fiend? Well, it's made out of rock. Maybe they petrified it. Must be Inspector Hildebrand. I cannot well imagine how arduous your journey must have been. Truth be told, I found the brisk Quartan air to be rather invigorating. It stimulates a body and mind both, a welcome benefit when one must discuss matters of commerce. I dare say we would not have accomplished so much otherwise. I'm going to guess it's Godbird and not, not Hildebrand. There you are, Spectre. I've been looking all over for you. I say, who do I see before me? Not one, but two of my beloved son's faithful companions. 
Lord Godbird, but but I thought they do look alike. Hildy in Ishgard. This is the first I've heard of it. Aha! Found you at last, heretic. Yes, you, the hulking brute with a mad gleam in his eye. Your brazen heresy is plain for all to see. Surrender yourself to the Inquisition at once. I beg your pardon. This man is an old on merchant here at the behest of House Tom. Such baseless accusations will not be tolerated. Uh, uh, against the House Tom, then, then he couldn't possibly... Though there were two that... Though there were those two wards that uh, they were not acquitted all charges in a trial by combat, and if he demands the right to, uh, then I would personally have to. Oh dear. A thousand apologies, good sir. I spoke out of turn. I am Seer, and as you may have guessed, I am an inquisitor who has been charged with investigating reports of a rather suspicious, possibly heretical individual. Ho ho ho! A heretic, you say? One who bears a passing resemblance to me? Aye, a man, rather muscular, wearing dark garments and acquitting himself in a somewhat gentlemanly fashion, as some might say. This heretic sounds like a spitting image of Inspector Hildebrand. Could he be... a fan? Uh, say again, you're acquainted with such a man? Unfortunately, yes. I see. And the man you're looking for is Lord Godber's son. Hmm. It would seem that our investigations may be connected. So, I put to you a proposal. The first reported sighting to the heretic I am tracking came from Falcon's Nest. Mayhap we should journey there together. It is, after all, possible that we are seeking the selfsame individual. If so, and if he is innocent, it would be for the best that you are present when I apprehend them, that we might resolve this matter without incident. I already don't like this guy. I say we go with him, Green. This looks to be our best lead yet. And I shall accompany you all. It has been far too long since I laid eyes on my beloved son. And if there's a chance we might be reunited, I should be glad to seize it. Why aren't you wearing leggings? Are you not cold, sir? Then it is settled. We shall leave for Falcon's Nest at once. Master Syme, are these your traveling companions? The mysterious muscular vagabond. Ah, yes. A patrol sighted him lurking near the dusk vigil, thinking he might be a lost traveler, they called out to him. But rather than approach, he fled. Quite frankly, I am surprised you bothered to come all this way. That sighting barely warranted a mention in my report. Aha! The unmistakable scent of heresy! Ah, terribly sorry. Old habit I picked up from my mentor. I know, I know. I will not rush to judgement as before. Why does that sound familiar? So, much as I hope you find your missing inspector, I must confess some small desire that we instead unearth a lingering pocket of heresy. Of late, there have been virtually no confirmed instances of heretical misdeeds. It's gotten so bad that some are speculating our funding may be reduced, or worse, that the Inquisition's operators might come under review. That is why, alone as my witness, I will find and bring a heretic to justice, and prove that our order still has value in these uncertain times. Yes, yes, I understand you have your reasons, but whether or not this vagabond was a heretic remains to be seen. Still, if you are set upon your course, you might begin your search near the Dusk Vigil. An excellent suggestion, Sir Redwood. Should we succeed in our endeavor, rest assured that you will share in the glory.
the hunt continues. Onward to the Dusk Vigil. I am told that region is especially cold, so do not forget to dress appropriately for the weather. I'm fine. It's Godward you have to be worried about. Oh, we're gonna are we gonna find Hildebrand all frozen? I feel like that's what's gonna happen. Just gonna be frozen in a block of ice. Fury, take me, it's freezing! Bah, this is a waste of time. No living thing could survive in this godforsaken wasteland. I think Godbird's actually wearing less than before. Oh there, look! Someone's coming from the vigil! Inspector! Inspector, is that you? As I live and breathe, of all the places to be reunited with Master Zombiebrand's compatriots, how fell you all this fine morning? How are you here? Uh, hark! A heretic raised from the dead by his brother's unholy magics! <laughs> he's not a heretic, he's one of the gentle dead men. What brings you so far from Old Dog, good sir? Well, as you know, ours is a rather lonely existence. So when we heard rumours of an abandoned fortress held by zombies, we were delighted. I was chosen to serve as emissary and set out immediately. Alas, it seems my efforts were for naught. Is it because I cleared it out already? Ah, truly. Every last one dead. That is to say, uh, irrevocably dead. <sighs> if it was necessary, then so be it. Still, after coming all this way, it is more than a little disappointing, you understand? Then, my calculations were wrong. The inspector didn't land in Quethas. Now, now, do not fret so. If it is our overlord you seek, then you are in luck. As founder of the gentle dead men, our fate, not either, are inextricably entwined. In fact, I can feel it calling to me now. Truly, good sir, you can guide us to Inspector Hildebrand. As surely as my rotting nose can lead me to fresh brains. Follow me, my friends. One must remain vigilant for heresy, for it can manifest in myriad ways. It is a vile, insidious sickness which must needs be burned out ere the infection takes hold. Surely zombification would qualify, yes? No comment. Confound it, they've left us behind! think they are a commandeering this investigation and employing a zombie as a bloodhound in beggar's belief. We must regain control of the situation. With me, Green. I, I think they have it handled. Uh, uh, okay. Hold on a moment, my friends. I must needs concentrate. Master Zombiebrand is indeed nearby, but there is also something else. May have a powerful magic, confounding my senses. I can guide you no further. We must needs split up and search the area. Now see here, these ways are infested with wild beasts and you would have a split up. 
Green can handle himself, true, and you've clearly no reason to fear death. But what's with Mistress Nashio? She, she can just blow everything up in a 50 mile radius. Or 50 yon. 50 mole? What's what's the Final Fantasy unit measurement for mile? Let's just go with yon. 50 yon radius. Ah, I take your meaning. My good zombie, Green, pray see to the lady's protection. Inquisitor Seer, would you care to take the lead? Come on, you two. The inspector is out there somewhere. Oh, hey. He is here. He is right here. No dialogue, unfortunately. Look, Green, that's gotta be the inspector. And he's surrounded by giant, fluffy, man shaped gazebos. What? Nay, my lady, these are they are not mere gazebos. Note the regal bearing. They are gentlemen gazebos. Fearsome, yet fastidious foes who will surely tear me rotting limb from rotting limb. What? Only Green can save Master Zombie Brand now. H how do you see gazebos from the. I, I, you know what? Forget it. You're more dignified and rather gentleman and gentleman than your average gazebo. Alright, give me a second. There. Gentlemanly legs. Wait, do they have any other dialogue if I go back and talk to them? Hail. Inspector! Inspector! Can you hear me? We've been looking all over for you! I think he's frozen solid. Oh, but this just won't do! We gotta get you out of there before you catch cold! You know you can pull up, right? Everyone is waiting for you. <sighs> Forgive me. If I pull any harder, my arms are like to tear. Ah, there you are. We heard shouting. Have you perchance found something? Fury, take me. Is that my heretic? Confound it, I wanted him alive. Inspector Hildebrand is definitely not a heretic, and he's probably not dead either. He's... he's just hibernating like last time. Hildy ever was, I ever... Hildy ever was a late riser. Fear not, my wife and I had our ways of waking him. Oh no! <laughs> He's in this goldsmith uniform. Here with the brown head, little Maximilian, my little. Oh, get up! Right! This! 
Instant! This is wholly unnecessary. God, Bird, you dug at me even further. Hmm, was it the Mandeville Meteor Strike or the Mandeville Meteor Drive? Bah, maybe Julian was right. Trying to name everything only leads to needless confusion. One more time, that. I, I think you got it right the first time. Out you go! Splendidly suplex, Lord Godbert! Where? Where am I? The snowy wastes of Quethos! And who are these people I see before me? Ah, but of course! Who else would venture into inhospitable climes and wake me from the slumber sweet of my beloved fans? Why do I feel as though I've stepped through a portal into an alternate reality unbound by the laws of logic? Welcome to Hildebrand. You get used to it. What is that? A mammoth! Where did it come from? Oh, that! When my father drove me into the earth, I found it buried beneath the snow. A little Lalafelon girl! How adorable! Nashu, please! Note the firm, muscular legs, not unlike my own. Tis clearly a Lalafelon boy. Now that you mention it, I suppose his features are rather masculine. You two cannot possibly be serious. I am the very soul of seriousness, good sir, especially in matters of deduction. This is undoubtedly a young boy who, much like myself, fell into a deep slumber upon being buried beneath the snow. Now then, let us gently wake him and ascertain his identity. Ah, that ought to do it. What? What this is place? Who? Who am I? It would seem that although father's ungentle ministration served to restore this young boy to life, they also robbed him of his memory. How did I get here? Who am I? Why can I not remember? Do not worry, young man. Everything will be alright. Take it from me. I have lost my memory more times than I can even remember. If you don't rem But how do you remember that you lost your me- I'm not gonna question that. Then, 
Then can you help me to remember? Hug it to me now, for I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, do hereby swear to solve the mystery of the amnesiac hobbledy... Hobbledyhoy? What is that? I'm looking that up. Hobbledyhoy, a clumsy or awkward youth. Okay then. Wonderful! Wonderful! I'll get started on the batch of Nashu's Delights! Ah, effective agile explosives were in the past. I suspect that young Gigi lacks the hearty constitution required to survive such an approach. Gigi, is that my name? When you awoke, you were muttering Gigi Gigi. I suspect the phrase may hold some significance to you. So, until such time as we learn your real name, I say one unadopted as a playful moniker. But, but that's just a sound that all mammoths make. What kind of imbecile goes and names a mammoth Gigi anyway? Gigi, I like this name. Thank you, kind sir. But how will this new name help me rem to remember who I am? Patience, Gigi. This is only the beginning. Next, we will return to the city and see if we cannot find any no who know who you are. Come along! Now that I know our overlord is safe and sound, I too must take my leave of you and return to my brothers. I dare say Rigor Mortis will set it if I remain here any longer. Bound for Thanalan, then allow me to accompany you. Julia will give me no end of trouble if I keep her waiting much longer. Though perhaps she will forgive me once I tell her of Hildy's return. This is a rather a lot to digest. Do you have the look of one accustomed to such happenings? You don't have the half of it. In any case, regardless of Mistress Nashu's protestations, the inspector will not be granted access to the capital until we can confirm that he is not a heretic. You have my word that he will be treated fairly. Oh no. It's an anime villain. From those detective animes. It could just be Julian again. Fury, take me that man. Ah, green. I suppose you have all the news then. That Inspector Hildebrand was cleared of all suspicion and judged to be no more than an eccentric curiosity. If you're looking for him, good luck. I wanted to thank him for his cooperation, but as soon as the Temple Knights released him, he and his assistant ran off to God's nowhere with that mammoth in tow. As for my investigation, in spite of all the twists and turns, I managed to salvage a satisfactory result. As far as the Inquisition is concerned, the suspicious vagabond was not more than a zombie which wandered away from the Dusk Vigil, sickness which has since been purged. So it seems that it's all right with the wor all is right with the world once more. For now, I have no doubt that the Inspector will turn up again like a bad gill, and when he does, trouble is sure to follow. I can't read these letters fast enough. Okay, that one I recognize. <laughs>